Hello and welcome to my Hugo Culture course. I'm really excited to be building this and presenting it to you. This is kind of a raised bed garden method that I've been using for about seven years. And this course is going to go over everything I've learned, either through studying online or studying in books and through trial and error. And um, so, yeah, I want you to learn this and then build one. And then I want you to share it with somebody. And then I want you to teach it to others while you're sharing it, too. And uh, that's kind of how these will grow. And uh, you'll see the many benefits. You'll see pretty much everything you want to know about these in this course. So let's go over the outline of everything that's in here. And I'll be adding to this, too. So this is kind of the uh, rough draft outline of everything that I'm going to cover. So in section one, the introduction. I'm going to go over what they are, why people build them, where to put them, uh, pros, you know, the benefits, why people love them, why gardeners get a lot of benefits out of them. Some of the cons, there's a few downsides. Um, to me, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, but I'm going to cover that in a later video. I'm going to go over the different styles. There's some different ways to go about building Google cultures. And uh, so such things as you can either dig a trench for them or you can just put them on flat ground. You know, I'm going to go over things like that and different layouts. You can use them in landscapes to kind of move water around. Or if uh, you have a hill that's kind of flooding out a lower area, you can, you can definitely use these to kind of direct water away from areas or towards drier areas, things like that. So that's the first section. And then section two, we're going to talk about buildings. So pretty much everything construction-wise for Hugo culture raised beds, uh, dimensions, you know, you can, these are pretty, there's not a real set rule to these things. So it really depends on kind of the materials that you have and uh, what you want to get out of them, what you want to use them for. So we're going to go over sizes, depths, we're going to go over the wood to use, and there's some types of wood that you don't want to use also. And then some of the debris that you want to use, and you know there's good and, good and bad debris that we use to layer in and complete these mounds. We're, uh, I'm going to talk about gathering materials and procuring materials. There's These things eat up a huge amount of green waste, so they're really useful for things like uh, sequestering carbon, and just using up green waste that would otherwise disintegrate into the atmosphere or burn piles. I mean, you can take a burn pile and and just do a you know just form them into these raised garden beds that work really well. And then I'll go step by step over different ways that people uh, use to construct them. So I have some photos and a few videos of of my constructions and. Uh, so we'll be going over that. Then we'll talk about planting. Basically, you just plant right on top of them. But I'll go into uh, some some things I've found over the years that you want to do and you want to avoid when you're planting your garden on top. And then the conclusion, I'll give you kind of some of my own advice uh, from just from different uh, aspects of, uh, of using these beds. And then I'll give you some resources for more study, uh, some books. Uh, I have a couple of playlists on YouTube. Um, the one Google Culture course playlist is going to be just this course. And then I have another uh, playlist where it's uh, kind of other people's uh, videos from other channels. And, and uh, so those are like the best ones that I've found around YouTube, uh, just to give you some uh, idea of the different ways people are doing them and a book list too so i hope you can i hope you get a lot out of this and it'll be free so i encourage you to share this with other gardeners um, it's a really cool method um, and yeah just share share them around uh, it's a kind of a part of the permaculture movement and uh, so the permaculture is all about using resources that we have on hand and uh, being the most efficient uh, gardeners that we can and uh, improving soil and improving the environment while we're uh, growing food. 
um, the growing food uh, well and the great soil kind of comes as a result of practicing all this stuff. So I'll see you in the next video and thanks for checking it out.